Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert, and this is drum replacement in pre-mixed audio. Now, this is useful maybe if you're working with pre-existing audio that's been captured by the artist, or maybe improving a live stereo recording, or even as an alternative to stem mastering for those sounds that could really do with replacing. So here's my track, and I'm finding that the kick is lacking a little bit in low end weights and maybe a bit of definition as well. Let's have a listen. So I'm going to use an intelligent tool, in this case Ripex Deep Audio from Hit and Mix, to generate a mix minus that I can slot my new kick sound into. So it's an audio suite plugin. So the first thing I need to do is select the clip and then just hit the button. And not only has that launched Ripex, but it also gives me some options here. Now I'm going to leave all of these checked, but for quickness or for quick render, I can just select individual elements if I need to. So I've pulled my track into Ripex and it's fully rendered and ready to go. Let's have a listen. So sounding very much as it did when it left Pro Tools. Right, so let's have a listen to this kick. So there are some artifacts there, but on the whole, there is enough there for Ripex to generate some usable MIDI data from this separated layer. So I'm happy with that, and I'm just going to go up and export as MIDI. So in here, I can name my file and also the destination directory, but I need to change this to MIDI notes. What to export? Well, that's going to be everything that I can see here as a single file. Then all I have to do is hit export and I have my MIDI. Then I need to do the opposite to get my mix minus. So if I unsolo the kick down there, bottom right, and mute it. So that will be my mix minus. So all I have to do is export that. So check that everything is okay. I can rename this if I need to. And we're going 24 bit. I'm going to export everything as a single file and that will generate an interlead stereo file that I can use as my mix minus. So back in my DAW, I've done two things. I've imported my mix minus from Ripex and I've also imported the MIDI that it has generated and it's also auto named the track as well. So for now, I'll just mute the original track and also my new instrument track that's going to carry the kick. Cool, so that's my mix minus the kick. So all I have to do now is go through and find a suitable sound. I'd usually do this in context, but I'll do it in solo just for now so you can hear exactly what's going on. Pretty cool, but I think I could still do with a little bit more definition. Let's try some of these kicks in Easy Drummer's Bright Room. Okay, I'm liking the sound of that one. So this is what we had before in our original stereo file. compared to my new version with a nice weighty kick, courtesy of my drum virtual instrument. So you can hear there's a little bit of refinement to be done with the MIDI there, but on the whole, very good results indeed. So that is drum replacement in pre-mixed audio. To find out more about this technique, head over to the Production Experts blog to get the full story.